Here on Z Extreme, we have it all from the most recent news in extreme sports to the stories behind these extreme athletes' success. Welcome to this edition of Lake Tahoe TV's Tech Talk. I'm your host, Lindsay Felsch. We're here with Chris Brackett standing inside the shop for South Tahoe Stand Up Paddleboarding. And you know, this sport has really taken off here in Lake Tahoe. So tell us a little bit about the technical aspects, the boards, there's racing, surf, stand up paddle boards, and just kind of cruising around boards. So tell us all about the boards. Yeah, yeah. It's that time of year again where athletes have been gearing up to compete for gold, silver, and bronze in this year's Winter X Games 16. We have the inside scoop of who will be competing in Aspen. Let's take a look. Welcome back to the Tahoe Apre Hours. I'm here at the top of the gondola of Heavenly inside the Tamarack Lodge here with Bob Offerly to tell us a little bit about the new facilities here. So Bob, it's an awesome thing for people to do if they're up here skiing on the mountain, coming for a bite to eat, or if they're sightseeing. Tell us a little bit about this new facility. Just ahead on Wolfpack Week, the Nevada football team is still flying high after defeating Boise State for the first time in 12 years. Lindsay Felsch here at the starting gate for the Amgen Tour of California. It is official now that the race will continue on, so we'll see how these riders do with the weather. Today we're sitting down with the 2011 stand-up paddleboard champion, Ty Lenny. He began surfing at age 3, windsurfing at age 8, and now he is a world champion. We're finding out who pushed him and what made this athlete extreme. Grabbing a quick bite to eat is vital for many busy students, especially during finals week. Most students head over to the Joe for a quick meal and they will soon have another option to choose from. Heather Chapini has a story. The 2010-2011 winter season kicked off in Lake Tahoe last weekend with several ski resorts opening with terrain park features, wide open groom runs, and varying levels of terrain for early season skiing and snowboarding. Cold temperatures, highly efficient snowmaking systems, and Mother Nature's early season snowfall enabled ski lifts to start turning as early as Thanksgiving this year. The last time we had an opening this early was the winter of 2004, 2005, and we actually opened on Halloween. But to, act, to open on Thanksgiving weekend, uh, we, I don't remember the last time that happened. So we're really excited to be open early and to be open on all natural snow at this point in the season. The early winter conditions allowed holiday travelers to enjoy top to bottom skiing and snowboarding at Lake Tahoe Ski Resort. Just made my first run out on Grandview. It's awesome, just getting my legs all Warmed up, you know, still a little sore, first time up all year. Can't beat it though. All seven ski resorts in the Lake Tahoe Basin plan on opening within the next couple of weeks with fresh snow, new terrain, and a promising winter season. As you can see, the conditions are great out here, and if you haven't already gotten geared up, come out for the season and enjoy the conditions. For Wolfpack Week, I'm Lindsay Felsch. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Lindsay Felsch, taking you to the extreme. Every day I'm shuffling.